TV, phone, and internet company. Tonight's news is brought to you by Davis Furniture. Furniture shopping made simple, affordable, and local. Following the governor's state of the state, gun rights activists speak out against New York's SAFE Act, and we have the story. Also, reactions to another controversial program in education, the Common Core, how other politicians and residents feel. Plus, we've got sports and the Army women's basketball team starting off a tough stretch to their schedule. That and so much more next on Neighborhood News. Thursday edition of Neighborhood News. I'm Sean Ryan. New York State lawmakers got an earful at the state capitol as thousands gathered at Empire State Plaza to make their voices heard on a number of hot button issues. Yes, indeed. And Carrie Donovan says protesters opposed to New York's Secure Ammunition and Firearms Enforcement Act, otherwise known as the SAFE Act, urged lawmakers to repeal it. Take a look. Members of the State Assembly and Senate and their guests walk a gauntlet of protesters on their way to the governor's State of the State speech. Thousands of chanting, sign-wielding protesters rev it up for just about anyone who passes by in a suit or is recognized as a supporter or opponent. From across New York, opponents of the SAFE Act came to the Capitol to protest the law passed last January and to let lawmakers know they are not going away. State lawmakers I talked with said the SAFE Act and the Common Core rollout are still generating the most constituent calls to their offices. As assembly members and senators head in to hear the governor's state of the state speech, they're encountering protesters unhappy with last year's passage of the SAFE Act. And that includes Tony Malone from Poughkeepsie. Tony, this is a big crowd. Yeah, it's a really nice turnout. We're, we're really excited. You see a lot of uh, supporters for the Second Amendment, uh, for the Constitution in general. And um, it, it's really nice to see such a good turnout. It's, it sort of recharges us. It's a little tiring fighting these battles after a while. up your spirits again and gives you hope. So it, it's nice to see this. While Second Amendment supporters made less noise than the anti-hydrofracking group, everywhere you looked, you saw Safe Act protest signs. Supporters of keeping the Second Amendment the way it was originally written, who are opposed to the Safe Act, say they'll continue with these kinds of events, and many are looking forward to election season when they can impact the vote. This is Carrie Donovan, Neighborhood News at the State Capitol in Albany. Thank you so much, Carrie. Well, Common Core has been around for the last few years, actually, but is now a hot topic.